Dear students, today we are going to discuss about vegetative propagation in stem. Before going into stem, we are going to see the difference between the root and the stem. How to identify root and how to identify stem in a plant body. So we know that roots are always present below the ground, hence they are underground and has the presence of absorption of water and minerals capacity. I repeat this, the roots helps in absorption of water and minerals, very important point, nodes and internodes are absent in the roots. Only by major character, only by this major character, we are going to identify whether it is a root or a stem. Now, we will start with the stem. Majority of the stem are aerial. They are away from the geotrophism. Whereas roots are geotrophism, stem is always phototrophism and they move towards light. And this stem has the presence of nodes and internodes. So, when we talk about roots, nodes and internodes are absent. But, when we talk about this stem, it's an important character, nodes and internodes are present. By seeing the nodes and internodes, we can identify what type of stem. Because, we are discussing what? Three types of stem. One is called as underground stem, subaerial stem, and aerial stem. So by seeing the nodes and internodes, we are going to identify the stem. Now, we are discussing about vegetative propagation in stem. They are classified into three types. One is called as underground stem. Now, we are discussing about how does the underground stem helps in vegetative propagation? The stem is below the ground, hence it is called as underground. Stem is below the ground, but still we call them as stem because it has nodes and internodes. So this underground stem, how it undergoes vegetative propagation, we are going to discuss now. The first one is called as rhizome. Example for rhizome is called as ginger. The ginger is called as gingiver, gingiver officinalis. This is the botanical name of a ginger. And one more example called as Curcuma longa called turmeric. In both ginger and turmeric, it undergoes vegetative propagation. Now, in ginger, the ginger is underground, it has flat stem with nodes and internodes covered by covered by brownie scaly leaf. The leaf is covered. Your yeah, brownie scaly leaf is covered and has the presence of nodes. At the nodal region, there is a presence of axillary buds. Nodal region, there is a presence of axillary buds. When we cut this near the axillary bud and show this, this axillary bud gives rise to new individual. Hence, we call this as Vegetative propagation. I repeat this. The axillary buds present at the ginger or the underground stem. Ginger, this axillary buds has the capacity to give rise to new individuals. Same way in curcuma longa. Curcuma longa, called as turmeric, it has a presence of elongated stem covered by a brownish leaf, has the presence of 
nodes and internodes at the nodal region. Axillary buds are present and this axillary buds gives rise to a new plant. Hence it is called as one more called as turmeric is the vegetative propagation. Next, we we'll go for the second one. The second one is called as stem tuber. Example for stem tuber is potato. Potato called solanum tuberosum. In potato, again in potato is under cell. In potato, there is a presence of a cylindrical oval shape underground stem covered with a browny scaly leaf. Covered with a browny scaly leaf, and thus has the presence of nodes at the nodal region. It has a presence of nodes at the nodal region. There is a presence of axillary buds. This axillary buds are called as I. Nodal region has the presence of axillary buds and this axillary buds are called as I. When we cut the I and so it gives rise to a new plant. So here again this also helps in vegetative propagation. We will start with the next one called as corn. In corn, again it is called as underground stem. Example is Amorphophilus, commonly called as yam. So in this, there is a presence of again a large, large underground spherical shaped stem, again covered by a browny scaly leaf. Covered by a browny scaly leaf and has the presence of nodal region at the nodal region there is a presence of axillary buds this axillary buds when it is cut off pinched off it gives rise to new plants so even this also helps in vegetative propagation now we will go for the next one and the next one is called as bulb bulb example called as onion. So the botanical name of an onion is called as alien sea farm. So the onion underground stem called as bulb it is also helps in reproduction vegetative propagation. In the onion there is a presence of lower a disc like stem. Lower disc like stem and this disc like stem has the presence of advantageous roots of being present. It has a presence of advantageous roots. At the center of the stem, at the center of the stem, there is a presence of axillary bud. And this axillary bud, sometimes it is white in color, sometimes it is yellow in color. This axillary bud is covered by three types of leaves. In the onion, there are three types of leaves are there. The first one is called as a fresh leaf. The first one is called fresh edible leaf. Fresh edible leaf which can be eaten as it is. It is eaten raw. Hence it is called as edible leaf. And the second leaf is always called as a dry skin leaf. There is a presence of a second one and this second one is called as dry scaly leaf. So this leaf is dried and it is being peeled and removed out. Whereas a third leaf is called as green, hollow, elongated and has a presence of photosynthetic. Hence it is called as foliage leaf. The third one is called foliage third one is called foliage leaf. It has a presence of green, hollow, elongated leaf and this is called as foliage leaf. On this photosynthetic foliage leaf, there is a presence of inflorescence. Group of flowers are being present. We call them as 
onion flowers so here the underground stem disc with the axillary bud is cut off helps in vegetative propagation